What's going on people, you know back again. Today we're taking a look at the Mattel Motu Masterverse series. Uh, Sorceress Tila. This is actually supposed to be based on the Revolution uh, show. Uh, so let's get started. But uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, let's, let's get some size comparisons. So, uh, got Black Series, Sebastian LaShawn, uh, more her and her height. There's Storm Collectibles Jury. Uh, we'll put uh, Jada Toys Chun Lee next to her. Let's see. And do another small lightning collection. Uh, Summer May Ninja White. So you got that. You see that? Let's take them out. Uh, over there. Uh, another small one. It's doing Snake Ladies. <laughs> Here's Kamen Rider John A. I'm going to do something with that uh, as Trigger Arts. Um, I forgot bringing the Action Force, so that's okay. Uh, here's a uh, classified, here's Agent Helix. I'm going to get it to stand. Uh, that's who I forgot to pick out. Uh, just to see. So you got that. Um, let's see if I can get her to stand over here. Well, let's take them out because she's falling over. Where else to stand right now? Uh, I'll do uh, McFarlane. Here's Poison Ivy. Uh, let's see if I can get her to Ivy to stand. Uh, oh, dude. Nobody wants to stand today. This ivy usually stands on its own by itself. Uh, not today, huh? Oh, all right, we'll just do it like that. Uh, Farland stuff still a little bit bigger. Uh, there's another big one, Marvel Legends. Here's Shioku, who's actually, actually bigger, so you can see. I can get it stand up straight there so you see that yeah, so and here's the uh bring in the original I still need to get the other sorcerer's Tila but I'm gonna talk about that uh, here's uh the Tila and here's a she so you can see that from the Masterverse collection, so and let me bring in this guy just to see. She's like standing next to him, so here is He Man, the He Man figure. You wanna let's see he's still you're taller than her. And I'm gonna say I think it's my opinion that this figure is overall one of Mattel's best female action figures that they've ever done. I think it's their best female action figure, um, including WWE and the DCU, uh, DCUC stuff. Um, th this is my opinion. Even though she doesn't have a waist swivel, but I think it's just one of the best sculpted figures they've ever done. Um, I don't have mo many of the Motu Classics, so I'm kind of including that. But that, like I said, is my opinion. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll get to accessories real quick because this comes with two uh, two pairs of hands. Those hands right there. Uh, for holding your her, her staff and mainly for holding her staff um, and 
two like magical gesturing hands or posing hands or you know magic hands if you want to call them that nicely done with the painted fingernails too so so that and like I said the staff which is nicely done cobra on it that and this uh well it says you put it on her hand but this effect I also I used it on the on the staff too but it's like a snake energy effect which is nicely done so yeah, there you get that so that's mainly what she comes with um now um also I don't have that figure origins one but um this was also partially an homage to the original Tila figure or more so now I'm not a true expert but from what I know the original comics that were released before the cartoon which kind of showed some of the lore and in it it had the basically this if you ever wonder why they t t the original Tila had this get up with her which is this is actually supposed to be the goddess not the sorceress and this was supposed to be the the goddess what they turned her into Tila it's, I think that's how it goes in so when this figure was out, they made this figure, but it was the of the goddess, but they turned it into Tila. And Origins did do a, a green one of this, but I never saw it in stores, and so it's kind of high price. I'm trying to find a deal on one, um, but yeah, that's why. So this technically is the goddess, but it says it's the sorceress Tila. So, yeah, this is kind of an homage uh, to this figure and actually to that that comic, which is the origin, which is actually the goddess gave He-Man all his weapons and whatnot. I think that's the story and whatnot. So, but nonetheless, I'll bring that out here and I'll bring you actually the two in one uh, version of Tila. So, and so there's that. I guess I can bring back this Tila in too. Um, I still gotta get the other, the actual her as the sorceress Tila. Um, I should have my uh, something else out, but so there's that. So, but so, um, just um, for those that know, um. This is soft good, which is nice. Um, so it, it is not the the most uh, thick material, but it it work, it does its job. So, uh, so. This snake tail, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, she doesn't have a waist down here. They didn't do it. Um, the diaphragm, but I said that because I think this one, the the ladies, the diaphragm joints have not been all that. Some they're not loose, but they're like this one. They they move a little bit too easy for my liking. So this one has a little bit more resistance and all like that. So um, I know somebody people might not like that, but like I said, I think it's like one of their best sculpted and done female figures action figure let me say that from a tail look at that face scope stay focused on that so, so yeah so and move out the way yeah 
it's pretty posable. Uh, like I said, I think this this line is kind of slept on uh, a lot. Did they? She have drop down? I think she does. Huh? I didn't. She does. Huh? That's kind of crazy. I didn't know that because they did that on the uh, Mattel Creation uh, Snout. Uh, I didn't know that she had drop down hips, huh? Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't think they do that with the regular release figures. That's why um, the snouts, <laughs> snout sprout is the one uh, where I, the first one Mattel figure that had drop down hips for me. So uh, this is a surprise uh, that she has drop down hips. That's pretty cool. So um, was not. <laughs> I did not know that, so, um, but yeah, um, so, oh, uh, but yeah, I do recommend picking this figure up if you see it, um, hopefully it'll start showing up more soon, um, cause I'm trying to get at least one more myself, uh, yeah, just get one more, but I haven't seen it since I got this one, so, hopefully it'll start showing up soon. Mattel's not going to start doing that, going back to things not showing, I mean, their distribution going back to waves that's not showing up in stores. So, But if you see this one, pick it up. Um, um, so, I'm going to end it here. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for more. And until next time, don't support Scalpers. Peace.